Meet you, sir. Is this your profession or are you training? Uh, I'm training, sir. <laughs> Father, bless this field that we are about to have. 
Bless all the people gathered around this table. Bless the king of this realm, Charles III. Bless their imperial highnesses, Prince Hermione and Princess Ava. And keep our world, Ethiopia and Great Britain, in peace and prosperity. I invite all of you to say the Lord's Prayer in your own and ladies of the British nobility, and the Balabatawanet and liege of Ethiopia, your excellencies, dear guests. It is a pleasure to greet you here tonight in my capacity as Abafari, the chief of protocol of the Ethiopian crown. This is a profoundly important gathering and an historical one. You will have seen that our dedication to honoring the victory of Gondar extends to many tasks, including the striking of the Victory of Gondar Medal in 2021 with the design assistance of the Palace here in London. To commemorate the joint British-Ethiopian victory in Gondar. It also includes the installation this week at St. George's Chapel in Windsor, at St. George's Chapel in Windsor Castle of the Joint Memorial of British and Ethiopian Sacrifices to achieve that victory. And it includes the commitment of the President of the Crown Council of Ethiopia uh, to His Holiness the Abuna of the Ethiopian Tewahedo Orthodox Church to restoring the Holy Trinity Cathedral built by the Emperor in Addis Ababa to honor the patriots who gave their lives for the victory. All of the unpaid team supporting the Ethiopian crown are working tirelessly seven days a week to help Ethiopia in these days, these months, and years of its crisis. And we are making immense, we are making immense progress. It is now my pleasure to introduce Professor Giovanni Ruffini, who has been working for many decades behind the scenes to support the Crown Council. Professor Ruffini is now Vice President of the Imperial Society of the uh, International Society of the Imperial Ethiopian Orders, which is the principal support executive for the Crown Council. He is now lending our efforts in putting together the Victory of Gondar Dinner tonight and other events organized for the Crown by the Society. So Gregory Copley, so Gregory Copley, the President of the Society, and I are most grateful to Giovanni, as we are to so many of our supporters, particularly Edward Hillary Davis, the Prince's Private Secretary in the United Kingdom, and to our host here tonight, the Most Honorable Marquis of Britain. Now let me pass you to our Master of Ceremonies tonight, Professor Ruffini. Thank you, Agatari Kamala. Can everybody hear me in both ends? Your Imperial Highnesses, Your Highnesses, Noble Lords of the United Kingdom, members of the Balabatawi Net, the Ethiopian nobility, your excellencies, and members and veterans of the armed forces, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, fellow guests. Thank you for joining us on this special occasion. Let me single out for particular thanks the most honorable Marcus Redding for hosting us here in this beautiful club, and Lord Ashcroft, and everyone named at tonight's program for your generous sponsorship of this event and your work in helping us to commemorate the joint Anglo-Ethiopian victory over fascist forces 82 years ago. Ethiopia is once again undergoing an internal war of frightening and bloody proportions. 
it is in terms of casualties and internally displaced persons the largest war on the planet today, far outstripping the tragedies in Ukraine and the Middle East. And it is in the context of this that we meet tonight to celebrate a great and historical Ethiopian victory, which tells the people of Ethiopia that they can once again overcome the challenges which weigh upon them. When Mussolini's Italy invaded Ethiopia in 1935, Western powers did little, anxious to appease the dictator and to keep him as a potential counterweight to Hitler. When Emperor Haile Selassie was forced to leave Ethiopia, his presence in exile just a few hours from here in Bath was a constant reminder that the League of Nations had turned a blind eye to war crimes of horrible brutality. When Italy joined Germany in the war against the Allies, Great Britain and the British Empire found a new friend in the exiled emperor, and a joint Anglo-Ethiopian alliance was born. That alliance brought the emperor back to Ethiopia in January 1941, and to its capital, Addis Ababa, in May of the same year. In November, the Italian forces made their last stand at Gondar in the Amhara region, and were unable to resist the combined strength of the British 12th African Division and Ethiopian Irregulars, the Patriots, or Arkhanos. Ethiopia, the first country to fall to fascist aggression, became the first country to be free of it. This was only one of many world historical milestones in the life of the emperor, who had already gained renown in the 1920s as the leader of the only truly free and independent nation in Africa. This foreign nation inspired Jamaica's Rastafari movement, his 1936 speech to the League of Nations, calling on the world to resist fascism, had seared itself into the world's conscience. His leadership against European colonialism in the 1950s and 1960s helped to give birth to a free Africa. But in 1974, the emperor and the ancient monarchy he represented fell to a Marxist revolution, which plunged Ethiopia into one of the darkest periods in its history. For 17 years, Ethiopia suffered under a military dictatorship of the Dura. After the fall of that dictatorship, many hoped for the restoration of the Ethiopian monarchy. The emperor's son, Crown Prince Aspawosin, had been crowned in exile and taken the name Emperor Amha Selassie I. In that capacity, he named our patron, Leolormias Salas Selassie, Haile Selassie, to serve as president of the Ethiopian Crown Council. Since his uncle's death 26 years ago, Prince Hermias has worked nonstop to preserve the legacy of the Ethiopian monarchy and to create an inspirational and unifying role for it in Ethiopia's future. In that time, he has sponsored full college scholarships for Ethiopian students in the United States, supported the construction of bridges and wells and other clean water projects in Ethiopia itself, organized a digitization project to preserve unique Ethiopian manuscripts, and spent countless hours educating people like us all around the world about Ethiopia's unique place in world history. Just two days ago, Prince Hermias was welcomed at St. George's Chapel at Windsor Castle, where he dedicated a memorial plaque which you can see in your program tonight, dedicated to the memory of those who fought and died to free Ethiopia, creating the first allied victory of World War II. Ladies and gentlemen of the Ethiopian, British, and Commonwealth Armed Services here tonight, we honor the sacrifices your predecessors made to build a better world through that victory, and the ones that followed, and we thank you for your continued service. In Ethiopia, to give thanks for the nation's deliverance from war and occupation, the Emperor commissioned the construction of the magnificent Holy Trinity Cathedral in Addis Ababa to honor the sacrifice of the Arganach and the Ethiopian victims of the occupation. The Emperor himself now, finally, also rests there. A year ago, officials from the Holy Trinity approached Prince Hermias and asked him for help. The cathedral is undergoing renovations which are badly needed but not fully funded. Tonight, we are pleased to announce that the International Society's efforts on behalf of the Crown Council have raised over $54,000 towards our total goal of $100,000 to support the Trinity Cathedral renovation campaign. This, too, is part of the victory of Gondor. We hope to raise the rest of that amount by the end of this year. In 2024, the Crown Council will turn its, turn its attention from cultural preservation to education. Prince Hermias earlier this year received a petition from the city council and local elders of a small town called Ejersa Goro, the birthplace of Emperor Haile Selassie. The town has asked Prince Hermias 
to help the fundraise to support the reconstruction of the town's primary school built by the emperor so many years ago. We look forward to working with all of you to find supporters for this initiative when we launch next year. These two fundraisers, one for a major site in Ethiopia's capital, the other for a small building in a small town hundreds of miles from that capital, have something crucial in common. Prince Ermius did not go to them and offer his services. They came to him and asked. This is proof that nearly 50 years after the revolution, Ethiopia's people know that its crown is still there, that its crown still serves. This should be a reminder to all of us here today that the future of the Ethiopian monarchy is not just here, in rooms like this, at commemorative dinners like this, but there, on the ground, in Ethiopia, in the future. Similarly, those members of the Ethiopian Balabatawi net, the aristocracy, have been asked to work with Ethiopian Orthodox churches around the nation to help them preserve these facilities and services. With all this in mind, I would like to thank you, all of you, for joining us tonight, and to thank you, Prince Ernest, for all of your work in the past and yet to come. Thank you. Now, if all of you would please rise for the playing of the national anthem.
morning. I would like to congratulate myself first because this is my first convert dinner. <laughs> I was particularly hurt by the amount of hard work that's gone into having put this trip together. And we've had a very busy week, a very emotional one. And I'd like to remember my friend Greg Hoffley not with us this evening, we worked so hard to make this possible, but we're compensated because Kamala is here with us. So I'll, I'll get into my formal uh, speech. Dear friends, let me call you that, because nothing differentiates us this evening. And I thank the Almighty Lord because of that. We are here because of the bond and our love for freedom. We love Ethiopia and can crave its freedom. We love the, the, the Britain and her Commonwealth, which has helped the great emperor, my late grandfather, His Imperial Majesty Emperor Ayla Selassie, to achieve the freedom and salvation of Ethiopia. This was an achievement not only for Ethiopia, but for the world. We celebrate the 82nd anniversary of that painful relief and victory at Gondor, where we saw the, fir the first territory seized by the Axis powers of World War II, freed from the brutal occupation of nationalism and fascism. We also cannot forget that the invasion of Ethiopia in 1935 was the true start of World War II. And we Ethiopians suffered. Apparently, without friends or support, until the relief began in 1939, and the final victory achieved two years later. The years of abandonment by the world scarred my late grandfather and the Ethiopian people. The victory at Gonda, even though the world had forgotten it, two weeks afterwards, Japan was attacked at Pearl Harbor, bringing the United States into the war. Well, the victory of Gonda began our healing, and they accelerated the path by the emperor toward making Ethiopia a true confederation of lands and people, under a democratic parliamentary constitutional monarchy similar to the pattern here in the United Kingdom. Our path to that goal was interrupted even as the emperor drafted a new constitution in 1973 to implement the final steps and he was to be overthrown and murdered by the military junta in 1975. They killed or imprisoned so many of our family and the families of so many Ethiopians and we mourn them as we mourn the loss of many of our patriots who gave us the Gonda victory and fought for freedom all along. And those from Britain, Kenya, Australia and elsewhere who lie in the graves, so many unmarked graves in Ethiopia have become their eternal rest. But where are we as Ethiopians today? I say that in all the chaos of the continuing conflict, which is the legacy of the dreadful communist and its successor governments, we are in fact closer to the returning of the Empress dream of democracy and the unity of the European spirit that we have been almost seeking for decades before. And hopefully the monarchy. <laughs> <laughs> Why is this 82nd anniversary of Bonda so, so important? This week, through the graciousness of His Majesty King Charles III, for whom we call God's blessing on his new reign, we were able to unveil the new memorial plaque at Windsor Chapel 
at St. George's Chapel in Windsor to the memory of all those who made the Bondo victory possible. This was a major milestone, not only in modern Anglo-Ethiopian friendship, but also in recognizing the strategic importance of Ethiopia to the security of the global, of the great global trade links of the Red Sea and the Suez Canal. And in recognizing the bond between the Ethiopian and British crowns, which eventually because become bonds between eternally linked brothers. I was blessed too this week to visit my grandfather's home in exile at Fairfield House in Bath, and again to reflect on the anguish as he sought the path home to relieve Ethiopia of its invaders. And then today, I was privileged to be granted the, the freedom of the city of London, which was an emotional journey replicating the path of my grandfather. All of these things. Yeah. All of these things are small marks on the pages of history, but they mark the slow rebuilding of the dignity, warmth, nobility of our nations, Britain and Ethiopia, and our rec recognition of the importance of the Commonwealth of Nations, to which we also owe our brotherhood. It is not from nostalgia that I speak this evening. It is from the reality that today, more than ever since World War II, Britain and Ethiopia seek to restore the nobility of purpose to our nations. And in this is the most <coughs> essential ingredient to restoring the dignity of the purpose and magnanimity of the souls of our mutual people. For us, it is critical because Ethiopia, as I said, remains embroiled in the war today. The chaos which began with the killing of my late grandfather and now powers the destruction of the dreams of the Ethiopian people is now approaching a climax. The largest war in the world today in terms of casualties and displaced people is not in Ukraine or the Levant. As tragically important and barbaric all those wars are, it is in Ethiopia, unfortunately, where possibly as many as one and 1.5 million people have been killed in the past year alone, and 26 more million have become displaced from their homes. We join the world in mourning the loss of life and the meaning of life in Ukraine and in, in Israel, because we know what the meaning of suffering is. The Ethiopian people are now fighting for their lives, their freedoms, their very identity, and the crown of Ethiopia in the midst of all this is attempting to give support to its people and support to our faith in the Ethiopian Orthodox Church. These strategies have gone unreported in Western media, largely because all these suppressions are not on the internet, they're not on the news, but I want you to know that it is happening and we must become cognizant of them. In a moment, I'm going to ask my Pigman and my cousin, the Jasper Sile, to give you a brief report of the situation inside Ethiopia, from which it came just two days ago. In the meantime, let me again thank you all for being with us this evening. It is a blessing of immeasurable comfort to me and to Princess Sava. And let me thank you, my friends and colleagues, who have made this dinner possible for all the hard work you have put in. It is one of the few opportunities for us to gain attention to our thoughts and to raise some funds for the operation of the tram, 
let me now ending with my profound thanks to you all for on the just part to make a few comments. May I ask all of you to rise for three toasts? I give you the Emperor Haile Selassie and the Arbanyoch for the deliverance of Ethiopia from occupation and for the victory of the Ethiopian people. I give you the King Emperor George VI and the people of the Commonwealth for the deliverance of Ethiopia from occupation. And I give you the Crown Council of Ethiopia and its president in the work for the deliverance of Ethiopia from its present distress. Dear guests, thank you once again. Please continue to enjoy your dessert, your coffee, your tea. This concludes the formal part of the evening. We thank you most warmly for your participation tonight. Please continue your support for the great work for this revival of Ethiopia.
started back in 1841. This friendship flourished even further under His Imperial, Imperial Majesty, Emperor Haile Selassie. It is due to these high moral stances that Ethiopia committed herself to the prosperity of not just her people, but the entire African continent. It's due to His Imperial Majesty's strong morals that he decided to extend Ethiopia's arm not only to Africa, but to the rest of the world, by becoming a charter member of the League of Nations in 1920, with hopes to make the world a better place. But sadly, that hope faded, just as we needed, just, just as we needed the world, the world turned their backs on us. We returned in 1935 when the Italians invaded once more. But during our darkest hours, our beloved friends, Great Britain, came to our aid and partnered with Ethiopian Patriots, which led to our joint victory making Britain's first World War II win in 1941. The time has also come again for our dear friends to extend their arms. My father already said everything that was going on back home. Two million people have already passed, and we need our friends' help once more. This dinner is a testimony of our long and beautiful friendship, which only remains strong due to my beloved uncle, His Imperial Highness, Prince Emea Sahara Selassie. The only... <laughs> the only Ethiopian monarch who has given himself to his country and dedicated his life to keep our, to keep our country's name alive on an international level. It is because of him our family name remains alive. He is now the embodiment of peace, equality, loyalty, friendship, just like his grandfather. But also, he is the embodiment of love. It's his love that is able to bring all these faces together and turn them into one family. So I'd like to say thank you from the bottom of my heart for all that you have done for us and Ethiopia. You are a gift and a blessing to all of us. God bless you.
والعالم بيقول لك تاني على الفيلم اللي كان عبدالله صدقوا لنا قلنا نفشل الفيلم عبدالله زرنش سلاسي تنش أبراني لين يمان لج لش يمان لج لج ليش مثلاً؟ هه. سونيا يمان مستحيل سلاسي. أوه أوكي. بس أتشوف إنه يتشوف أن مونارك كيمين ده يتشوف أزود شو بيقول. أشياء اللي بعثت عليها. بس أنا. 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 ये तो ना करूँ बाम आ रही है यार लोगों को चुन अंडिगा बात चाहिए आगे ना चुन उस तुम दम थक उस सॉन्ग ये मुझे अम्म स्लाइड इंटरेस्टिंग ये यूक्रेन तो ना तो उनके मिल गया था बंटी ना तो इन्हें आगे उस अमारा की बेटी का इंफार्मेशन इन्हों ना उन्हें दल साउ हिस बार Kenyal itu kan harus menghadap cincin turun leh kalau usaha sah cincin kalau tak dunia mikro sah. Sekarang kita sudah tunjuk hasil kerja. Ina Inggrisan pada ni ucap cincin itu pada ni sebenarnya sudah begitu. The most house ni. Apa yang hendak lu ada tadi? Kalau tinggal di sini, let's do win and action nak tu. Kalau tinggal di sini, betul betul kita nak buat apa? Kalau sama pun ada. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I'm going to talk to you. 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 Gen mana beral show? In England, we tidak ada put. Yasta was partial dan beral. Ijo pernah di Inggris. Abang itu dah selamat sekarang. Abang dah sedih. Kita dah tahu dah tahu. Macam mana supaya tengah nanti orang nanti asal nak tengah nanti supaya anjing itu emat warwan itu dah pun dah pun asal. Ijo pernah di Inggris. Abang itu dah selamat sekarang. Abang dah sedih. Kita dah tahu dah tahu. Nah, masa awal sahaja. Ini ni masih lagi cara tu banyak bukannya tu, banyak data bukannya tu macam asal ni. Nah, betul betul kita bukannya tu macam ni. Kan? Nama masa awal sahaja. Nama macam tu asal ni. Apa tu ni dulu ni asal ni. Asal ni pun ada sahaja. Ini ni kita sekarang ni cuma kita tahu sahaja. Betul betul kita sekarang. Nah, masa ni kita sekarang ni kita tahu sahaja. Betul betul kita sekarang ni kita tahu sahaja. Nasib sulit pasca nak awak tuh. Betul. 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 Bet Askrani al Lebat, Windsor Castle. Hei, apa nak beri zat? Zat, zat ini lebih aspring sibal. Ah, tahu? Ingat ikat dan baru kegerak cawai sampai sana. Nak mendel lah uski. Lepas mereka cuci cuci dan terangkan. Eh, stokan. Yang tu, ingat ini tu sebab saya darasat cawis berang. Al dan tu lah berkah untuk cawis berang. Ini mana? Ia cuma yang big, cuma yang Zaman itu sebab asal sah, lembu yang asal serabut, kelana orang sah, terus sebab itu, itu lek award yang pernah. Enak, free mesin balat, free mesin balat ni kan? Enzi ingkung Swiss, minum negar biar terus. Ah, terlek negar no. Okay, awan conclude negar negar, macam sebab tam, awak segera lalu sebut sesuatu je. Enkiri, bengkel saya am conclude lemarak fikir lo abrul. Inggris ini ada urus Inggris wajib nak cakap urus cakap cina. Kan, eh, yang macam mana sih nama Inggris? Dalam bila banyak, kalau sih dia nak zaki jisla, izare, ya gondar dinner lah. Is it your first time? Yes, ya gondar ni macam mana? Kasih nama box ni lah. Eski negeri ni sih. Ah, selepas tu attack esh, kapas, tarik aja ni. Wadai, mian semua cakap urus cakap. Amerikan itu cuma itu cakap, Inggris itu cakap. Lelaki cina mengkritik sangat fasha lana, mungkin no, yang cahaya itu berzuna itu lain na, itu pelayan um, tarik kacau ni jatuh alu, ni lah mana korla yang hulat million dar salah, kerja ambil balik Islam tu, seni seni tanah, ini ni mias tarik kacau ni, yang cina kata cia musim generasi macam, melik tu kan lepas ni. Melik tu mungkin no, istilah cakap alu cakap, kalau tu cakap ni kacau ni, ni apa ni? 
Und ja, man hat nicht das Beste. Was raus und weiter. Land haben wir da aus der Deutschen Wüste noch. YouTube, also, ich weiß nicht, ob YouTube, ja, alles, alles, wie wir mit Kitmeier natürlich gewählt haben, der mit Namen Bayern ist. So, das ist auch irgendwie am Akkadamischen in der Bank. Ein Teil, 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 ein Teil. Thank you very much. I would appreciate if you say a few words in English, no um, especially for the young generation who have had no idea what went in the late 30s and early 40s. I know before World War II, Ethiopia was invaded. As soon as we were emancipated, the Second World War started, isn't it? So in regards to that, please say a few words for those Ethiopians who unfortunately haven't had the chance to take part in such glorious dinner evening. What would you pass on to the generation you represent and the, gen the, the general generation who are younger than you are? So, Ethiopia has always made an impact, not just on our country and the continent, but in the rest of the world. Starting from eating England to gain a win in 1941, order to declare a war in World War II. And that was just the beginning. But afterwards, there was also a campaign in Korea. And this was also an impact that was made on the international level. But this dinner is to remind everyone that Ethiopia has always been partnering with international, with any countries on the international level to help and extend our arms. But right now, what we need to aid the most, and the has to have a it's international countries like Israel and Ukraine that are being recognized instead of our own. And that's what we have to remind them. Because Turkey has always been there for everyone, yet no one has been there for us. The younger generation has to understand and has to remember. We come from great systems. It's all of our ancestors that did something for Ethiopia to stand here today. And if you continue as we are and forget our history, you're essentially forgetting your ancestors are and where you're actually going. And when you don't know that, you lose your identity. So, it's okay like, to remind yourself that you can't engage this and understand our history. That's the only way you're able to make an impact, not just for yourself, but for your country. Thank you very much. I mean, you're a blue blood. You're a royal. What exactly are you doing in Ethiopia? As, as a profession. So as of right now, um, I'm working with my father, who's an industrial engineer, but I'm also a shareholder and a partnership manager at a new tech company. But my greatest accomplishments, I believe, are the philanthropic work I do. I sponsor about 40 kids in Dagabaha, and they're mostly theater kids, so I established them as a company, so I make sure that they provide them to their community. I'm also a member and a part of an orphanage called New Diet, where I sponsor some kids and work with them and use that to them. But other than that, in Alt Aide, I've also built up 10 homes. So it's I'm doing as much as I can for my capacity because we all have the ability to do to, to do so. So as much as I do my work, I work with my family, I have my job. I have to give back to my community because that's what Ethiopia is doing. That's what we do. We're a community-based culture. We're supposed to be helping one another. We're supposed to be growing as one, not just as the communities. I appreciate your time, thank you. But if you have anything else to add on, which we haven't mentioned, you're very welcome to add on. All I have to say to my generation, the next generation, is remember you come from greatness and remember who you are. We only have one country by the end of the day. And just because we have the privilege to get an education abroad, to come here and actually experience everything, bring your experience back home. Teach your people how to be better and actually grow. There's so much to do and so much to change and to extend this privilege that your family was able to get to. Because the kids back home, we need Thank you very much. I appreciate that.
ሰላቱ ሽለጠላቱ ይመይሰው ካሳ ሞት ቁራቱ ወበል ያለ ወበል ወበል ያለ ይታ ተገታ ወበል ይከሳ ያለ መድንግ ለዘነ ወበል ሲያም ሰዋለ ኢትዮጵያነቱ ወበል አስመሰከረ ጥበብ ያለ ወበል ማንነት ያለ ማን ነው የሞተው ወበል ቴዲን ያለ ማን ነው የሞተው ወበል ቴዲን ያለ ማን ነው የሞተው ወበል ቴዲን ያለ የቋራ ጀግና ትዲናና ትዲናና አሞተ ብዙ ወስመጥሩ ወስመጥሩ እስኪልን ሰና መቅደላን ልክሰሱ አይልክሰሱ አይልክሰሱ ያኔ ሰዋም በሳ ወደ ታደረሱ አደረሱ አደረሱ ሞታን ነበርሞ የሚያስፈራው ለሱ አይደሱ አይደሱ አራም በሳው ቴዲ የነሳሱ ነወረሱ አይጎረሱ 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 አምላናቱ ሽለጠላቱ ነይሰው ካሳ ሞትኩራቱ ጻሪካል የሚነገር አመት ስካመት የሚዘከር አንድለናቱ ሽለጠላቱ ነይሰው ካሳ ሞትኩራቱ ወበል ያለ ወበል ወበል ያለ የታ ተገታ ወበል የካሳ ያለ ሰከረ ጥበብ ያለ ነው